Before we start, uh, we have a special treat. Um, my close friend, Janine Hardgrave, is here. How many of you guys saw this awesome little display up here? And I saw some of you guys taking pictures already. And, um, but Janine is here because she is going to share with us about, um, this kind of might look intimidating to you, right? <laughs> if you're like me, you kind of look and you're like, oh, that's cool. Where can I get her business card? Well, the reason Janine is here tonight is because she's going to talk to us about how we we can do these very things on our own at home. So um, if you have a kid's birthday party or some sort of festivity at your house, um, this can become realistic for you um, by listening Absolutely. tonight. So Janine is a really close friend of mine, and she has um, shared her gifts with me in this way uh, frequently, and I'm very thankful for her. So hopefully you guys will learn some things tonight as well. So what do we have? We're such close friends that we're hoping we're not going to start laughing right now. Okay, so, <laughs> um, so I wanted, what I wanted to come here tonight and explain to you guys is that you don't, I've been doing cakes for almost nine years, and it takes a lot of time and a lot of supplies to make something really, you know, even something simple sometimes. So what I wanted to do was to show you how you can make something look really, really cute with just a simple, your grandma's recipe, your family recipe, whatever it is, and just make it look cute and, you know, I don't know, appealing to whatever party you're having. Or Are you doing this demonstration so I'll stop calling you to make cakes whatever. for bridal showers for whatever. me? <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, so for example, donuts. Um, Let's say you're going to Quininia and you want to impress the ladies at Quininia. Well, this would, this would definitely knock their socks off. And all this is, and, and before I start, I want to, you know, also emphasize, if you can invest in cute little stands, then do it. Because you can find them at TJ Maxx, at Home Goods, wherever. This set is from Costco for $20, both of them together. And, you know, just pick them up periodically. It just makes things look so adorable. But anyways, I got these donuts at Yum Yum. I got two dozen donuts at Yum Yum. And I put them on a cute cake stand. Actually, these are two stands piled on top of each other. Just stacked them, and I made these cute little pinwheels, stuck them right in the top, and voila. Look at how beautiful that is. And, I mean, it definitely would impress people. Donuts are really popular right now for um, sweets tables, for weddings, for showers, wherever. Um, so that would be something really cute to do. And these pinwheels are on the Virtue site, how to do them. And I, I make them for everything. And then um, cupcakes. I just wanted to show a couple different examples of some really easy cupcakes. This, and I just spatula iced all of these. No tip, nothing. Spatula, that's it. Sprinkles and a cherry. How cute is that? Very simple. This is confetti sprinkles, and all these sprinkles can be bought at Target, Michaels, wherever, just a local craft store. Um, and I took scrapbooking paper and glued it around a skewer and cut it into a little flag. Really simple. This, last week, if you were here for the demo of the um, terraniums, they used washi tape, which is paper, printed paper tape. All I did was take the tape and put it around the skewer and made a cute little flag of that. And it has pearls on it. Are you able to get that, Justine? Yeah? Um, so all it is is the tape and then just little blue pearls. I got those locally at Allen Party Supply. Um, this cupcake I did for Tiffany's um, bridal shower. Uh, we just took pink lace and we wrapped it around the skewer and glued it with pink pearls and a little bit of sprinkles on that one. And this is just a store-bought or Etsy-bought Etsy pinwheel. <laughs> I took it from her wedding. I put a button in the center and put just normal sprinkles on it. Really, really cute. And then, again, the pinwheel thing, or not pinwheel, the wheels. This is on the Virtue site. No sprinkles, just a simple wheel on top. It just makes such a statement. Super cute, super easy. And then my last simple cupcake, I took some, um, some note. Uh, Tiffany had wrapped a present of mine in this beautiful music note paper, and I just made a little banner and put it on top. You could do that with a name. You could make something special. And again, look at this cupcake stand. It's just so cute, and it makes things look just so special. If someone, you had a friend whose birthday, and you made them a big cupcake and put it on a stand like that, and they came over with their name on. I mean, it just makes you feel like you took so much time, you know, and it was just so simple. 
I love how it all can be personalized too. Yeah. If you're having an event, you know, your party's yellow, or your all you have to do is go buy one sheet of paper at Michael's right. or Joanne's and just mm -hmm. add it to your dessert. And Super you can cute. write on their name on it, or write baby, or the name of a baby, or I don't know, his and hers, or something like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to sugar cookies. I wanted to show you guys this. I've been doing this thing for for a long time. I have an eight-year-old daughter, and um, sometimes at her birthday parties I'll make this. It's just sugar cookies with sprinkles with green licorice as the, the grass. So people can eat the cookies and eat the licorice too. You can make them as centerpieces. You can give them as gifts. You know, like the edible arrangements. That's kind of like the same idea. You can give it as gifts. And I put like a vintage hanky inside a little jar and just stuck the cookies. And all it is, and I think that she might have zoomed in, it's just a cookie on a stick. What you do is you cut out your, um, your cookie pattern twice. So cut it out, lay the stick in, put your cookie, the next dough on top, and bake it in the oven. Put the sprinkles on and bake it in the oven, and it just stays right on the stick really well. So that's that. Okay, and then I wanted to do pies, too. With the holidays coming up, I thought this would be really cute as a place setting. Um, whoops, it's starting to fall apart now. Um, you want to hold that up? Yeah. Little individual pies with twine. I used Baker's twine, and I bought wooden mm -hmm. forks on Etsy with, with the pattern, so it just looks a little special. Tied it with some Baker's twine, and that would just be so cute to put a pumpkin pie or whatever your um, an apple pie or these are raspberry. And I put them on a vintage tray, and you could put them on the center of your table. You can put one at each place setting. Um, they have all different patterns of wooden forks. You could even Google it. Just type in pattern wooden forks, and there's so many different ones that come up. And it just looks special and cute. All right, and then we're going to go to this. This is just basically a cake baked and just iced. So simple, just an iced cake. But what makes it special is I made this little banner on top. And I mean, just a simple cake, it just looks like something spectacular when you can just put a little um, banner. This will be on the Virtue site. All I did was take um, dowel rods, twine, tied it around, and glued little pieces of fabric, scrap fabric, on there. And it just looks like something so special, and it's just so easy. Now this one, this one looks a little bit harder, so I don't want you to be intimidated. This is actually fake. <laughs> I would have never told you if it was mine. <laughs> I do bridal shows, so I have to take fake cakes to the bridal shows, um, decorated and stuff. I didn't want to intimidate you guys and think like, oh my gosh, you look at this. I remember the first time I went to a cake decorating class and they did a rose for me. I was like, forget it, I'm out of here. I'm never going to be able to do that. And now I, I do much more than that. So this will be for another time. We'll go over a little bit simple decorating. But what I wanted to show you um, is all I did with this was I took chalkboard. You can get them at Michael's in a package. They're just chalkboard sticks, and you can write your message, stick it on the top of your cake. It looks so special and cute. And then for the flowers, I went to the 99 cent store. I literally went to the 99 cent store and bought a dollar stem. It had five flowers on it. And what you'd want to do is you'd want to keep a little bit of the stem, and on the back side, you want to put wax paper. The reason why you want to put wax paper is because your buttercream is going to be oil-based no matter what kind of buttercream recipe you have, and it will absorb into these flowers and it'll look like a big stained mess. So you want to put wax paper so that you can stick it right into the cake and the icing will touch it fine and it won't get um, discolored. The same thing with the pinwheels. I put wax paper under, behind them. You would just take some icing, smear it on the back, stick it where you want to put it, Really simple. Without having to have any <clears throat> decorating experience at all, you can make a cake look beautiful just like that. And if you did decorate a cake with fake flowers, you don't want to put a ton. Like, because, you know, it might not look. Just, you know, sporadically put them. You could even put a rhinestone in the center. Um, whatever you want to do with that. So that's basically it. And Love it. I Thank hope you, you guys so get much. some ideas from that. So Go thanks home to and practice. <laughs>